Hello and welcome back to Free to Play Friday. Today I'll be talking about Pokemon Home. There is a free version of this and a paid uh, version, so yeah. And I'm gonna have to record like this uh, with my because uh, with the phone version I will be talking about the uh, showing off uh, the uh, Switch version after this part. Um, but I'm gonna have to record this on my phone like this because I don't know. Anyway, so like I was saying, so I'll. Uh, if you know a better way of recording apps on your phone, please do tell me because I uh, would will definitely look into it. But yeah, um, you get a free uh, Cantonian starter, and uh, as you can see here, I chose Squirtle because Squirtle is the best. Um, and uh, you can store a bunch of Pokemon in this. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, and they also come up as shiny here, so you can see that's a shiny Chansey there. You can see it there. So yeah, you can store quite a lot of Pokemon if you pay for it. Um, if you're just going in for the free, then uh, there's a lot less Pokemon that can be stored. Um, and the exclusive uh, to the mobile version... There's Wonderbox where you put uh, this many Pokemon in 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. You put 10 Pokemon in the Wonderbox and then eventually they'll just be Wonder Traded uh, um, all at the same time. GTS, um, this is this has my biggest problem. Like you can, Yeah, sure, you can put Pokemon in, ask for whatever you want. I'm just trying to complete uh, a living deck, so um, I'm just like asking for stuff like Yanma. Um, but the biggest problem, this is the biggest problem with Pokemon Home. Uh, so say I wanted to get, I don't know, uh, well let's put in Yanma. Yan, Yanma. Any level, from any generation. Yeah, get back which is an, and Combustion, yeah you have something like that, uh, that aren't too bad, but then you have like, Zekrom, Zacian, uh, Palkia, Reshiram, uh, Polito's not too bad. Uh, Zacian again, the Ganadale, and Cosmog. Which, um. Yeah, yeah, you just, like, look for just, like, normal Pokemon, and uh, you just have people asking for legendary Pokemon. Um, now, what? Uh, I think this could be easily fixed if they just made it so that unless your Pokemon were shiny, you couldn't ask for legendaries. So let's. But uh, otherwise, like just playing like they say they see they see they see in you know you have like Zamazenta they see for they see uh, oh impossible they see because they, they can only be level 70 and above um, Zamazenta Zamazenta Poipol and so on um so, while this is still flawed, they have um, made it better by um, making it so you can ask for mythical Pokemon. Um, but I think it still needs uh, perfecting it. Make it so that you can't ask for impossible Pokemon. And make it so unless your Pokemon is shiny, you can't ask for a legendary Pokemon unless it is a legendary Pokemon in itself. Um, then you have uh, friend trade where you... You know, pretty obvious, just fat trade with a friend. You have random trade. You have random trade. You know, uh, you can create a trade room if you're if you've got a paid subscription. Join via trade room ID, join via code pattern, or just join a random trade room. Um my only problem with this is that it can be sometimes hard to find. Um, a trade room, but basically, you know, you and a bunch of people join, um, and then you pick a Pokemon, they all go up into the sky, get mixed around, and then you get a random one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything uh, to talk about with the mobile version. The only thing that I haven't talked about is, um, sooner, soon, sooner or later, they're going to add, um, the ability to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go into Pokemon Home. So I'll see you guys in the um, Switch version of the game. Um, so yeah, see you in a minute. Pokemon Bank uh, in in Pokemon Bank 
bank on the Nintendo Switch. Um, so I'll be showing off just about everything here. Um, so you have the Pokédex, which, um, well, I shouldn't need to tell you what the Pokédex is um, if you're watching this video, but yeah, it's just a nice way of keeping track of what Pokémon you have and what you need to put in. Um, so yeah, I need to go back to like Sun and Moon and get Cosmog and then reset for and get Cosmoream and oh, and then now I need to evolve a type my spare type Null into a Silver Valley and then, uh, my Max is gonna be a Feromosa. I need to get Rashadow, Poipul, Naganadale, Zera Aura, uh, Meltan, and I've, Max got gave me a shiny Mel Metal that he had gotten. Uh, apparently you can't... Oh, shiny. Yeah. Shiny doesn't really change that much, it's just the gold turns to bronze. Anyway. So. Uh, on to uh, this, the main feature. Being able to transfer your Pokemon from uh, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee and Sword and Shield. And I've only got Sword Eye now. And uh, um, you can just manage the Pokemon that are in the boxes in Pokemon Home. And I've organised these by Pokédex order. Um, I, might I, I think I messed a couple of them up, but that's something I'm going to sort out when, the living, when I finish with Living Dex. Spare Shiny Diglett. And then all of these are just uh, duplicates. And I need to figure out what I need to do with. And you can organise this in any way you want. Um, and if you need to search for a Pokémon, you can just come into, go into here. And then you can just like search by order, uh, most recent, uh, least recent, highest, lowest levels, lowest to highest levels, uh, highest to lowest HP, lowest to highest, highest to lowest attack, and you know, lowest to highest attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, national dex order. And the alphabetical by species name. Um, so yeah, that's quite useful. And it also, sh and again, you can see that these two are shiny because they've got the blue no noses. Um, yeah, just base. I, I do prefer this um, UI to the one in on the mobile version. Um, so yeah, and then you can just go save and exit. You have notebook, which I haven't really looked into. So you have like history and records. So yeah, just so uh, yeah, and then records. Pokemon deposited 1,169, Pokemon withdrawn 52, Pokemon traded via mobile devices 227, number of tests completed 18, uh, days you visited Pokemon home 10 days, total points earned 3,568 points. Uh, and those points can be uh, sent to, to a game. As BP. Yeah, at 10 BP. And there you can, s and then I'll show you quickly. Yeah, I added 10 BP. And I can add another 5 if I wanted to. So one BP is 30 points, which I think is just kind of fair. And then you have options just like, you know, that's just, you know, general stuff, usual stuff. And you can move uh, Pokemon from Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. So uh, if I just go into here quickly, you can't really see this on my 3DS because I'm using my capture card. Um, 
what I could do quickly is eh, nah, that's more trouble than it's worth. Um, was, so let me just let this is just loading up. Preparing, do not turn on first 3DS. Yeah, so we'll remove the SD card. Uh, move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Select that on your 3DS. Communicate it with bank servers. Wait for that to load. Yeah, begin. You have to scroll all the way down to let it begin. Uh, for all. Um, yes. So begin move. Begin. Uh, display. So it is five three T Q. Um, T Q. Where's Q? There is Q. W two R M X F nine W N Y six P Okay. So yeah, it gives you plenty of time to do it. Yeah, there you go. So wait, and then, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot to mention I had to select the box I wanted to transfer over. So I'll be back in a minute um, when the, the transfer is complete. One Pokemon at a time. Red Ice and the, the um, Malt Face. Ah, here we go. There's a Yuxi. I shouldn't be there. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying that you have to basically. Go through each box individually to try and find where they are. Especially if you got it set up like I do, where they're in national decks all the time, and your first box is full. There we go. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard to notice the ones that should not be. In the box. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, that's all seven of them. Um, so it's just like three shinies I got uh, from the Ultra Wear uh, Holes uh, and just some legendaries that I also got from there. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything you can do with Pokemon Home. Um, I would definitely suggest uh, um, at least thinking about uh, the free version, just if it's somewhere to store Pokemon. Um, and it, and I definitely get the mobile version if you have a, if you can get it on your mobile version. I know that. Um, I think are you hear that um, not everybody with a mobile phone can see it and find it easier, but um, if you just get a friend to send you a link to it, um, like I did, then you, you'll you be fine because that's what I did and it works for me. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions 
ask them down in the comment section or any suggestions for like recording uh, footage on a mobile phone because yeah I, I, I looked into it a little bit and I couldn't find anything so it's like yeah I don't know um so yeah I'll see you guys in the next uh, video bye bye